pride, a feeling of satisfaction derived from one's achievement or the achievements of those with whom one is associated with. And the Knights of Catholic Memorial High School in West Roxbury are filled with pride. It's clear that that pride derives from a rich history of winning. Now, if you're from New England, you know that CM has always been a powerhouse in hockey. The Knights have won four state championships, 13 Super 8s, and six national titles. And if you want proof, well, that's hanging on the walls of the Baker Street Gym and in the hearts and minds of the hockey legends that walk those halls. So sit down, relax, and remember, you still have time to work on that New Year's resolution you know you've been kicking around. Tonight, I'm with the Catholic Memorial Varsity High School team. And tonight is Hockey Night New England. Stop that I hear him chat to the noise, move too quick, can't stop for the talking. I hear him chat with the boys, man so tough, but mine's keep walking. Hot like fire on the pond, if you want to touch my please use caution. Hockey Night in New England is brought to you by Duncan. Where there's hockey, there's Duncan. So Catholic Memorial has 39 state team championships and 38 individual championships. It's impressive. We're a young school. We're 64 years old. We're a small school. The success that we've had athletically is powerful. And I think that's a testament to the grit that our students have, the hard work that they put in, the exceptional teacher coaches that we bring in. And we're a small campus, right? We don't have necessarily the footprint that other suburban campuses have and our kids sort of feed off of that. We're a small school in a big league and I like that and I think a lot of the people that are working here like that and I think that's sort of a, a, a culture that you know we're gonna do more with less. I think the kids buy into that. I think they like that underdog sort of mentality and I know I do and I can't imagine being in another school, frankly. The boys who walk our halls, they engage in a process of learning here that's profound. They go through a common experience, and in that they come to love each other. And that's not a, a word you hear often. You also don't hear that boys are relational. At their core, boys and men are deeply relational, and what we do is tap into those relationships. We provide a, an opportunity them to be, for students to be free from distraction and to engage in, in friendships and conversations that have depth and meaning. It's truly a special place, you know, on and off the ice. Like when you, uh, you know, when you consider, kind of like you said, you, you've got people from, from different areas and, and people that you didn't know before you got here. You know, the, the community nature that that creates here, I think really makes it a special place. Um, the teachers, the administrators, everybody that was here, I think uh, it was extremely, you know, extremely vested in, into making this a, uh, a great, the great place that it was. And, and I always say this, where I, I came here for the hockey, and that was was great. Um, but when I left here, uh, the, the hockey was still great. But the school itself had a, um, it, it was a terrific experience for me, and, and always a special place for me. I wanted to play for a good hockey school, which my uh, town didn't have to offer. So um, I looked into it and did a night for a day. And after that, I fell in love with the school. I looked at a few others, but CM was definitely the one that I wanted to go to. Uh, my decision to come to CM, it was uh, pretty easy. Because well, both my brothers go to a public school. And my dad actually went to CM. And like, a bunch of my uncles went to CM. So you know, taking them back for them was a big thing for me. Originally, I was looking to go to a private school and kind of better myself academically, athletically, kind of all aspects. And I applied to the very and I was looking at BCI and I think it was, a, you'll find this to be a common answer. It was just like the brotherhood and the community at CM is very special. It's truly unlike nothing you'll find somewhere else. And, you know, I learned to appreciate it and it's had a great impact. But first visiting the school was night for a day, whatnot, it was instantly you felt it and you appreciate it and you could just see a future because of how much the students cared for each other, the teacher relationship with students. It's truly a special place. With 17 state championship banners hanging in the gym, it's the perfect motivation for young students to come in and be a part of the storied Catholic Memorial legacy. Yeah, I think the minute you walk in the gym, it's visible. You see the banners and you see the legacy and tradition that it's had and you hear about it. And there's kind of a reputation that comes with the school and comes with the program and you want to hold yourself accountable to the standards and you know the people that came before you 
there's a sense of pride when you put on that jersey and you, you hold true to that. And you want to do the best and you want to succeed because that's what's expected and we don't really expect anything less than that. Uh, the legacy is big. I, I walk into the gym, I always look at the banners and I want to be a part of it. I just want to be remembered as uh, doing something good for CM and I think playing hockey is something that I can do for the school. When I came here as a, as a freshman in 1990, I believe that was the first year that the format switched from, from the state championship to, to the Super 8 championship. So you took the top eight teams in the state uh, and had a, you know, a, a, I guess a, uh, an upper echelon of the state tournament. And uh, uh, so my freshman year, I, I didn't play a ton, practiced with, with uh, the varsity the whole year and, and was part of it. Uh, but we won that year and then we won every year that I was here. Kids want to go to see them and play hockey. Uh, we prepare the kids to become good students, but uh, the hockey is a real important part of the curriculum, and we take that as seriously as we do our study. CM's success on the ice will always be credited to legendary coach Bill Hansen, who in addition to winning over 600 games, also led CM to 17 state titles, 13 of those as Super 8 champs. The, the fire, the competitiveness, the way he pushed us, the way, the way we practiced, um, you know, that's what what made us as, as good as we were. He just, he makes you learn the game to an extent that it allowed me to play Division One hockey. You know, I, if it wasn't for him, I could probably say I wouldn't be here. Coach Hansen is, uh, I think, a great coach and he uh, prepares very well for college. How do you top the perfect cup of Dunkin' Cold Brew? With the perfect top of sweet cold foam. Sip into a velvety smooth Dunkin' Cold Brew topped with sweet cold foam. Order ahead on the app. America runs on Duncan. Fellas, now's our chance to create some serious damage in this basement. Yeah, let's flood it and create an unhealthy home. <laughs> Is basement leakage ruining the value of your home? Call 1-800-BUSY-DOG. The Busy Dog will keep water out of your basement. They can't stop, stop us now. Call 1-800-BUSY-DOG and your basement will be dry for good. Uh-oh. It's the Busy Dog. Call one 800 If you have sustained a sports medicine injury, we can help. Stewart Healthcare offers comprehensive care in two convenient locations. At St. Elizabeth's Bone and Joint Center, you can be seen by a leading specialist no matter what orthopedic problem you may have. The Boston Sports Performance Center has sports medicine physicians, physical therapists, sports performance training, and concussion management services all housed under one roof. Our nationally renowned team allows our athletes and patients to take their skill, training, and performance to the next level. Now open, Warrior Ice Arena, the official practice and training center of the Boston Bruins. Our state-of-the-art facility brings the enjoyment of skating to all levels. Interested in learning how to skate or play hockey? Our hands-on staff will get you moving in no time. It's the perfect place for your corporate event, birthday party, or special occasion. Open daily offering public skating, public hockey, and freestyle. Skate where the pros skate. Warrior Ice Arena at Boston Landing. Visit us at warrioricearena.com or 617-WARRIOR. I'm with Ashley Hasiotis, who is not only an old high school friend of mine, old, not old, but oh, no. from the past. Uh, <laughs> Ashley has started One Mission. And Ashley, tell us a little bit about One Mission so everybody understands what you're doing. One Mission is a pediatric cancer organization that I started after my firstborn had cancer. Mm. And really, it was everything that I went through and my whole family went through during that journey that um, basically had one mission come into fruition. And I just didn't want to leave the families that were, that I left behind. I didn't want to ignore them. I knew the needs. And so I created one mission. You know, not only is one mission necessary and it's such a difficult time for families, but the holidays are coming up. And so tell us how you support your families throughout the holiday season and what our viewers might be able to do to support you as well. 
Yeah, definitely. Um, the holidays are extremely financially st um, stressful for really the average family. Mm -hmm. And when you have a child who's critically ill with cancer, you're having all sorts of extra bills that you did not plan for because nobody plans for cancer. Mm -hmm. um, so there's extra f food bills, there's extra parking bills, there's extra gas. Um, and you know, our families are really struggling. So we adopt four families every year from Boston Children's Hospital and we put on Christmas for them. So um, if people are who are watching really want to help One Mission, they can go to our website, onemission.org, and they can help us by fulfilling gifts from these families' registries. And we've been putting on an amazing Christmas for these um, for each four of these families. And they deserve it. And I will say that nobody pulls together more than the hockey community. So we will ask all our viewers and beyond to support One Mission, to support the families involved. And uh, just thank you so much. What an amazing job you have done. I'm proud to be your friend and uh, anything that we can do moving forward to support, we will. So good job, Ashley, thank you. Thanks for having me. All right. We're at Sports Etc. in Arlington. For tonight's EPS quick tip, I just want to go over nutrition and sleep. These are the two most important behaviors where if you want to see performance gains both in the gym and on the ice, you have to make sure you're eating the right way and you're sleeping to recover at night. Ideally, you want to be sleeping eight to 10 hours per night. And with nutrition, you want to focus on three big meals, three snacks, and then eating a lot of green vegetables and fruits to help you fuel the right way. And if you want to train with us at EPS, but you don't have the time or you can't get here in person, we just launched an online training platform called Edge Method that'll be able to help you guys learn from the best. In addition to being one of the top hockey schools in the state, CM is also one of the top academic destinations in Massachusetts. Part of what we've done is always focus on what's right for boys, right? So if we put the students at the heart of our decision making, it gets quite easy. Uh, lots of schools aren't always doing that. They're not student centered. They may say they are, but they're not. So everything we've done has been based on research for young men, how to inspire young men, get them to use their hands, to roll up their sleeves, to do group projects, and to engage in a learning process that's gonna help them to find a passion and develop it. And I think that's unique. What we've also done is hire great people. And a lot of those great people have been teacher coaches. People who grew up playing sports were college athletes who understood that what happens in the classroom isn't enough. It has to extend into the hallways, into the lunchroom, onto the stage, uh, onto the wrestling mat, onto the hockey rink. I think those are the life lessons. When students engage with faculty members who are wonderful role models, they get excited. The faculty at CM knows how hard the students work and being a student athlete is no easy task. Something that's really important to me that drew me to CM now seven years ago is not just the hockey program, but the school and the kind of student athletes that CM produces. Obviously I'm the hockey coach and that's my classroom, but um, I really enjoy watching those football players compete and then seeing them in the cafeteria the next day. The same with our lacrosse players, our baseball players, all of our student athletes. Our teachers do an amazing job with our boys. Uh, they prepare them not just uh, for athletic competitions, but they prepare them for the next step in life, which in most cases is college, uh, but they prepare them for life. And that's something that really uh, is important to me and my family. Um, and it's important to me in my career as an educator, as a coach, as a teacher. It's a challenge that I know all of us on the hockey team we have to deal with, but we face it head on and we accept it and we embrace it because it's a necessity at the school and the environment that we're a part of. And you know, also just to the staff, teachers, their understanding of it, which I think is amazing. And they'll help us balance our work. They'll give us extra help if we need it. They spread out the work so we can kind of not have the weight of all this on our shoulders at once. but. You know, you have to commit to it because you're going to have practice for two hours on a Tuesday night and you're going to have to study for a test the next day and you have homework. So it's just a lot of discipline and time management, but the school and the people that you're around, the coaches, they all very understanding of it and definitely help us. I've been doing well academically. The teachers are very understanding with uh, especially student athletes because they know how much we have to do. And um, a lot of the teachers have coached me before, so I feel that I've gotten to know them very well, and uh, my relationships with my teachers have been like I've never had at other schools, so that's definitely something that's been important. We have so many teachers, coaches, and our staff 
because we understand that that's going to make a difference. For a young student to have Brian Hart, who is the captain of the Harvard hockey team in history class, that's powerful. And then to go out for the freshman hockey team and see this guy who played pro working with him in the afternoons, that's going to get him, as a student, inspired to study history and to be excited to play hockey. The time really flew by. I really just, I can remember being in eighth grade again. It felt like yesterday. And um, my time at CM has really been uh, valuable to me. I would stay longer if I could, but um, I'm definitely in the right spot and uh, made the right decision coming to see him. Yeah, you know, it's, it's crazy. It's, time has flown by. I feel like yesterday I was across the street in Donahue Hall in the middle school, and time has definitely flown by, and it's surreal because you're a seventh grader playing middle school hockey, and you dream of senior year playing varsity hockey. And it's truly a dream come true, and it's hard to imagine being anywhere else because it is a special place. It has a special place in my heart, and you know, I can't really imagine anything different. But time will come. I was thinking about it on the, on the ride in here, just about what you know. You get older, you get so busy with it, you don't think about it as much. But you, when you do go back and reflect on it, um, you always. I think in sports in general, you, when you try to measure um, how good a team or person or, or how good a team or a player was per se, you measure them kind of in their era. And the late 80s and 90s was a, was a great era for high school hockey in Massachusetts. And there was no better program than Catholic Memorial. Um, and when you think about the players that played here and, and uh, the championships you won and all that, it's, uh, it's a pretty special thing. How do you top the perfect cup of Dunkin' Cold Brew? with the perfect top of sweet cold foam. Sip into a velvety smooth Dunkin' Cold Brew topped with sweet cold foam. Order ahead on the app, America runs on Dunkin'. Fellas, now's our chance to create some serious damage in this basement. Yeah, let's flood it and create an unhealthy home. <laughs> Is basement leakage ruining the value of your home? Call 1-800-BUSY-DOG. The Busy Dog will keep water out of your basement. They can't stop us now. Call 1-800-BUSY-DOG and your basement will be dry for good. Uh-oh, it's the Busy Dog. Call 1-800-BUSY-DOG. you never have to worry again. If you have sustained a sports medicine injury, we can help. Stewart Healthcare offers comprehensive care in two convenient locations. At St. Elizabeth's Bone and Joint Center, you can be seen by a leading specialist no matter what orthopedic problem you may have. The Boston Sports Performance Center has sports medicine physicians, physical therapists, sports performance training, and concussion management services all housed under one roof. Our nationally renowned team allows our athletes and patients to take their skill, training, and performance to the next level. Looking for the best selection of everything for hockey and more? Then come to Sports Etc. in Arlington, Mass. Since 1980, the experts at Sports Etc. have been properly fitting hockey players from beginners to pros, with trusted brands at great prices. Let the pros at Sports Etc. get you skating in the right direction. Visit Sports Etc. today for all your hockey needs. Rob, I walked in here and I couldn't believe the selection that you guys have in this showroom. This place is huge. We probably have one of the largest selections all of Metro West. A lot of people kind of relate flooring just to doing carpet or, hard, or, or hardwood. We actually do uh, a lot more than that. We do tile from backsplashes to complete bathrooms, wow. complete remodels, um, complete shower systems to fireplaces, you name it. Pretty much uh, we handle it all. And I know after working with you for so many years, your crews are dependable, it's high quality. When you know you, you need something in a certain time frame, you guys will be there. One of the things we love here in New England are our family-owned businesses. They're few and far beyond, but you get your whole family working here. We do, family's the key, and I think it's kind of been what we've built 
our mantra of our business on. So, um, you know, every time you come here, you're going to find someone from the Mara family, and uh, you might even find some of our dogs running around. Whether you so, like it or not, whether you like it or not, that's just how it is. For more information, check out Rob here in Ashland or the rest of the Mara family at Mara Floor. With Sports Etc. and I'm with Rich O'Rourke and Rich, we are in the new Blade Barn. We are, yeah. Yeah, this looks great. I know it's been here for a little bit, but you used to you used to cut the skates downstairs. Yeah. And you brought them up to the main level. Yeah. And you got a new machine as well. We did. So, um, so th this is our new Blackstone machine. Um, it's got two heads, so it gives us a versatility of having two guys sharpen at yeah. the same time when we're busy. Uh, more importantly, it gives us a versatility to do almost any cut you can imagine. All right, let's talk a little bit about that because I know standard around here is half inch. Yeah, for us it's always. When I bring my skates in, I don't even tell them they just yeah. cut it half inch. Yeah, exactly. But what are the other options and why is that important? Well, depending on the style you skate, usually the if you want a deeper cut, like a 3 8 it's because you want more bite, then you're sacrificing glide. Okay. If you want a shallower cut, you go to a 5 8 but then you're sacrificing some bite. Got it. Okay. So everyone has their own thing they like. What this machine allows us to do is the guys at uh, Blackstone actually came up with what they call flat bottom V cut. Okay. Flat bottom V, it cuts a different geometry than a, than a typical oval shape. Yeah. And what it allows you to do is get the perfect balance between glide and bite. And you said that's more popular in the Midwest. It's huge in the Midwest. Specifically like Minnesota yeah, area. Yeah, and I'd imagine go up into Ontario. And do you think that's catching on here? It is catching on, but it's, it's like with, with most things like that, like the toe curves and sticks, it's a slow process. Okay. All right. I got to bring up the elephant in the room. Yeah. You got a Washington Capitals yeah. up in Bruins territory. Yeah. What's yeah. the story behind uh, that? This machine came from the Washington Capitals. Okay, fair they, enough. They, they got a little bit of use out of it. They were going on to a, a, a newer machine. We got it. Got a couple autographs on it by a couple well-known Capitals yeah. whose names yeah. we don't mention, but. Yeah, well, look, and it does the job, and it does the job well. It does the job Not well. only skate shopping, but you guys are offering, um, you know, skate repair as yep. well. Yeah, full repair station. Full inventory of, of replacement blades, which, okay. as you know, is yeah. probably the best thing you can have in your bag at this point. Look, I always tell the, the, the players that play for me and my own kids, yep. always have a second pair of blades in your bag. I think that's underrated. It's the, it's the single smartest purchase you can make. Yeah, okay. All right, great job, Rich. Absolutely. So if you want to get your skates sharp and you want another pair of blades or you need to get your skates repaired, this is the guy to see. This is the place to be, Sports Etc. From the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000, CM has been known as a hockey powerhouse. It's just a fact. 17 state championships. I don't believe there's another school that's won more in, in, the, in the state. Uh, CM is a national level program. They've gone out and played teams across this country. That's powerful and it's real. We try to honor that here. Uh, New England and Boston is the mecca of hockey. And Catholic Memorial has been part of that hockey tradition and culture since the school opened in 1957. I think that there's something to be said for playing for your school. Um, you know, the, all the experiences that, that I had, you know, winning a state championship, playing, you know, playing for school, playing with your, your friends, all that kind of thing. Um, you know, and I don't feel like we lost a whole lot in terms of development because um, you come to a place like this, there's other people and other kids like that that want, want the same experiences. The landscape of hockey has changed over the last 10 or 20 years and uh, kids that stay in public school or come to a, a place like CM to play hockey uh, with, with such a strong tradition, these kids want to go on and play at the next level and they know that this is a, a great um, school and program to be able to take that step to do so. CM is known for its ability to prepare its players for the next step in their hockey careers, sending many young athletes to the junior and collegiate levels. I plan to go to college. I'm looking at uh, a couple of schools, hopefully I'll end up South Carolina, University of South Carolina. That's my goal. So next step, I want to take a year or two off to uh, develop more. And um, playing for CM has definitely gotten me ready for that because it's definitely helped uh, to open more doors for me. You know, honestly, if it wasn't for coming to CM, and I don't think I'd be able to say I have the plans and ambition that I have going forward. They've opened my eyes, they've bettered me as a person, as a student, as an athlete, everything. And you know, playing hockey at CM has had a great impact on me and my future because it's developed so many skills. And you know, one of them I think is leadership, Coach Rooney. Being a senior now and going through the past couple years with the seniors above me witnessing appreciating it, acknowledging it, uh, it's been great. And now being a senior and fulfilling that shoes, I think it's important and I think it's a valuable skill set. Um, with the change of the landscape of 
how kids matriculate to college hockey. Um, this seems to be an added step, whether it's a postgraduate year or a year or two of junior hockey. That's really where the landscape has changed over the last 10 or 20 years. But um, it, it, it doesn't change what it means to play at Catholic Memorial. These kids, while they're here as middle schoolers or freshmen, um, certainly juniors and seniors, they love wearing that jersey and, and, and they want to play for a state championship. As the 2021-22 season begins, the Knights are off to a hot start. As one of the top teams in the state, it's hoping to bring another state championship banner back to West Roxbury. My expectations every year is I want to win the Catholic Conference and uh, make, make that Super 8 tournament, which doesn't exist any longer, but make the state tournament and uh, be at least a top five or top eight ranked Division One team in the state. I think we're there, um, yet um, it's the beginning of the season and there are a lot of other great programs as well. Uh, we're coming together, so my expectations are is that we're going to be in conversation come the middle of February to be consideration as a top team in the state. Uh, this year, I think it's special. Uh, I expect to win with my team always, and uh, we've been talking about it since we were in eighth grade that we think senior year is going to be a different kind of year, and from the beginning of the season, it's definitely felt that way. And I, as long as, I mean, as well as all the other boys, we, we expect to win it all. I think that this has been six years in the making. I know the senior class we have here is special and unlike no other. The coaching staff sees it, a senior see it, the whole team sees it, and soon to know the rest of the state will see it. But we got a great group. There's a special energy in the locker room. There's a passion. There's ambition. We want to win. We expect nothing less. And we think that we have the best group to do it. And I'll say it right now, we will be playing in the garden come the time of the state championships. I mean that, I believe that. We expect nothing less. Push it to the limit, I can't go no more. Red light, no way I'm coming back home. Long dirt road all on my own. I'ma be the greatest, run my name in the stone. Run my name in the stone. Yeah, I'm coming back home. Yeah, I'm coming back home. Run my name in the stone. Cause I'm coming back home. Hockey Night in New England is brought to you by Duncan. Where there's hockey, there's Duncan.